The question that I get asked more than anything else is, Matt, why do you wear such great shirts? I'm joking, but of course that should be what people are asking. The question that I actually get asked more than anything else is, how do I play everything on the piano just by listening to it? Like I do all the time when I'm reacting to things on this channel. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly what happens in my head when I'm listening to something in order to be able to play it on the piano. And then maybe you can go and listen to anything and try and play it on the piano as well. So I'm gonna show you me reacting to a piece of music in a recent video. The piece of music I was reacting to was a black midi piece called Auronos and it's got 24 million notes in it. That's a nice chord. A nice strong D flat major chord. Is this strange? Like, Matception. Me reacting to me reacting. got a really strong chord structure. F minor, B flat minor, D flat major, and then E diminished just to add some drama. So the first thing you've got to do is try and work out what bass notes are being used. Because usually with a song like this, you're normally going to get kind of four chords and therefore four bass notes. So you can just listen to the lowest note that's being played and it will usually tell you what chords are being used. So in this case, I heard an F in the bass. There. Uh... So that's an F, and therefore that tells me that it's probably going to be an F major chord or an F minor chord. Major usually sounds more happy or more like, uh, it's like positive, like this, and minor is usually a bit more dark, or it's used a lot to sound more epic or more strong. Over time, listening to major and minor chords, you can usually tell the difference with the brighter sound or the darker sound. And in this case, because the bass note is an F and it sounds kind of dark, that tells me it's an F minor chord. And therefore that tells me that we're probably gonna be using an F minor scale. That's not always the case, but a lot of the time, the first chord in a chord sequence kind of tells you the scale. A chord is every other note in a scale. So if we're in the scale of F minor, then those notes are F, A flat, and C. To work out a major chord, it would be the same, but using an F major scale. So that would be F, A, and C. If you don't know what scale you're using, then a quick trick to work out major and minor chords is if you play a major chord, you have three individual keys between the first two notes and two individual keys between the second two notes. And if it's minor, it's the opposite. So it's two between the first two notes and three between the second two notes. You can do that from literally any note on the piano and that will give you the major and minor chord. So for example, a B flat chord, you play a B flat, a major chord would have a gap of three and then a gap of two. And a minor chord would have a gap of two, and then a gap of three. So you can easily work out major or minor chords like that if you don't know the scale. So this chord, ah, uh, I can hear a B flat, so therefore it's the same thing. Is it major or is it minor? And to me that sounds minor. And also that would make sense with the notes that are in an F minor scale. So that gives me two chords. Once you've worked out a lot of pieces by ear, you kind of end up being able to predict what the chord sequences are as well, especially if they're kind of generic four chord sequences. So here, the bass went, ah. So that to me, that's the B flat that we just had. If we've got two notes in an F minor scale, you get to D flat, which would tell me that that's a D flat chord. That's three of the four chords. And then the last chord, that sounds like an E in the bass. So that to me is an E chord. So now we have the four chords and the four bass notes. The only other thing you really need to do is work out the melody. And a melody will always use notes that are in that scale and probably around the notes that are in the chord. So if I'm playing an F minor chord, the melody is likely going to use these notes more often than not. And the good thing about these black midi pieces especially is you get quite repetitive melodies. It's actually the same with most pop songs as well. So once you've worked it out, it just repeats lots of times. Then you've just got to try and put the two together. There are 
actually only really 12 main scales that are used for most songs like this. And there are actually only 12 major chords and 12 minor chords. So if you learn where all of these are on the piano, it actually becomes really easy. If you've never played piano before or never tried to learn anything by ear, then what I would recommend doing is listening to songs and trying to sing the bass notes. Because once you can do that, actually finding those notes on the piano and therefore constructing the chords from those notes and knowing what scale to use, it's then really just about music theory and what you know. About a year ago, I actually did a full scripted video definitive guide to playing music by ear. So if you are interested in really getting to grips with the theory and understanding how to play music by ear, then check out that video and I will see you there.